when does the madness end? So I've been following the Paprium saga for quite a while now. I'm an outsider looking in. I never ordered one of these. I'm kind of glad I didn't because who knows if I would have ever received the cartridge. There's still people waiting. There's still people waiting. It's just crazy. But this was a Sega Genesis game or Mega Drive game uh, put out by Magical Game Factory. It was in development for a long time. People have been waiting. There's been excuses, all sorts of crazy stuff going on. And one of the big things was, well, Magical Game Factory, PayPal, like, stole their money from them. They kind of talk about that on their site here. Unfortunately, since 2017, we can no longer sell our products online. I'm not going to re read all this, but essentially they show uh, how much PayPal had pretty much blocked from them getting. So their funds got frozen, whatever uh, had happened with that. I'm not sure. I know sometimes PayPal can be very strange with freezing your account and taking your money. It's ridiculous. But yeah, that's something that seems to have happened to these guys and the people who purchased the cartridge. They had to wait and wait and wait. And there's still people waiting to this day. And now there's a new Kickstarter. There was another game we talked about in the video. I don't remember what it was called, but there was something else that they had announced that I haven't seen anything about it in a while. But now to get some funds rolling, Paprium is up on Kickstarter for current gen and even more hardware. It's kind of crazy. And this is to fund this crazy ridiculousness, essentially that, hey, we lost money, we don't have money, and in order to get the original orders out there that still haven't shipped, we gotta make more money. That's the way it seems. I mean, it's it's pretty obvious what's going on here. But even with the, the cartridge people were receiving, there was some issues with initial shipments. The cartridge has like, proprietary chips and whatnot. And I guess they used some kind of epoxy to block everything and to put this uh, little placard over it. And as an example, like this person, their little placard fell off. And there was a lot of reports I remember seeing where it's like, why is my cartridge rattling? It's because the little placard thing fell off. It's just kind of crazy. And now we're, we're gonna take a look at the Kickstarter because there's a lot of craziness going on over there. But there's been a lot of other stuff that people have been pointing out to me uh, like arcade projects here, They've really been on on their asses on uh, Watermelon Games uh, about all this stuff. But they brought up this this interesting bit of uh, information here uh, that Paprium versus Wolverine X Men Children of the Atom uh, totally isn't Watermelon Games Paprium ripping off Capcom um, and the official developers and Marvel and all that. Here I'll pull up the actual image here, like the the animations of this character. It looks it it, it looks like a trace job, you know what I mean? Like, hey, let me take this sprite work and just do my own sprite work over it type of thing. I've never played this game. Um, this obviously does look like a legit concern. Like, wow, this, this sprite work was heavily inspired by or ripped off by the uh, Wolverine character and Children of the Atom. <laughs> it, it seems quite obvious. I have seen a few videos on this game and I've heard a lot of people who've enjoyed it. Some people say, ah, it's not great to each their own. But now with this coming, supposedly coming to current generation hardware, more people will have a chance to check this out. This has been up for some days now. They have 46 days to go and they have 1,679 backers as of the recording of this video, almost a half a million dollars. Their initial goal was uh, almost $300,000. They're, they're getting some money here. This is a way to fund the project to get those Sega Genesis cartridges out there, I guess. A lot of people are interested in this. I, I myself am interested. Like, it would be cool to just be able to easily buy a cartridge, but nah, I mean, that's not the case with this project, with this particular game. So I, I thought this was crazy because there's so many, uh, like, extra add-ons to this, uh, physical products, digital like stretch goal type things. Let's just take a look, right? So their previous game, uh, Pierre Solar, uh, pretty cool game, but here we go. I'm not gonna read all this. I will put a link in the description if you wanna check this out or risk backing it. As I always say, anytime I talk about a Kickstarter, like don't back something unless you're willing to lose your money because you, you just never know. Like, or you'll get something that's completely different than what you thought it was gonna be due to all sorts of challenges that the company faces, whatever the case may be. Like, only support it if you're comfortable. I'm not saying don't back this project, but just be wary, especially with the the, the past history here and, 
you know, look at the people who haven't received their cartridges yet. When will this deliver? Like in 20 years? Who knows, man? So they just talk about the game a bit. Paprium, which is like a beat em up, like Streets of Rage type of game. But we're proud to bring Paprium to next gen hardware Sony, PlayStation, PS4, 5, Steam, Game Gear? They're going to have a Game Gear version, Dreamcast, Nintendo Switch, and more. So n current generation stuff and older stuff. So they're going to remake this game for like the Game Gear. I'm sure they could, you know, get it up and running on the Dreamcast and whatnot, but they're going to make a like a downscaled port, like, you know, a, a new version for the Game Gear. And they're going to make cartridges for it. This is freaking nuts. We want to do it the right way. This is not some emulation, but a 90 simulation. Interesting. So they've developed a proprietary technique uh, to bring the best 90s gaming experience around a responsive and vivid game you would experience on a CRT. Just brought straight to your 69 flat panel. What does that mean? Like, is it like actually being ported to these consoles or are they just going to have their own emulator emulate them? Okay, let's see. The Kickstarter campaign is a long one with lots of surprises to be unveiled. If you're into physical editions, you can't go wrong unless you you, you bought the uh, Sega Genesis one. You're still waiting on it. There's people out there like, I need to get a refund. What's going on here? Like, nobody's responding to me. That kind of thing. Just weird nonsense that I've seen out there. It's interesting. It's crazy. <sighs> If your pre preference is for digital, all you need to do is pledge $24. So you get the digital edition for $24. I will not be backing this. I'll wait for it to actually be on the eShop or a physical edition being sold by somebody that I can just get. I mean, I just don't want to put my money into a Kickstarter. Uh, we'll see what their expected delivery date is, hopefully. They have this whole spreadsheet here. Uh, currently available pledges and add-ons. So there's a bunch of add-ons, right? Do you want the, the just the add-on? You pledge a dollar and then it, you get access to like an add-on section. We also got crazy pledges. And I can't believe, like I think people are buying these. The, the Mega Pope edition, you become playable in the game, a custom title screen, box, and cartridge. You get 88 copies of the game to share with your friends. How awesome is that? Please contact us for details before pledging. <laughs> what are the details? Like, hey man... Like, just give us the money, and we'll get it to you eventually. The pra Paprium Cab Pledge, one of the la last unreleased prototype Paprium Arcade cabinets. 100% uh, custom. I think that's sold out. Custom made for this game. It's difficult to have more, ex you know, have more exclusive. Okay. Con confused about how add-ons work? Yeah, a little bit. Uh, <laughs> you can always change add-ons or cancel your pledge while the campaign is running. That's what Kickstarter's for. PlayStation Edition. Uh, custom packaging, all that stuff. $99 add-on, minimal pledge of a dollar. So you add that on to the dollar pledge. 100 bucks. Holy crap. Okay. Steam edition, $99 add-on. What? Is the game also available as a regular edition? So this one, you I mean, you're getting extra stuff. It's not just like, oh, you add $99 and you get the physical edition. It's kind of like a collector's edition type thing, right? You're getting poster stickers and a figurine. Because um, that's what I was going to say. Wait, $99 for a Steam version? Like, get the hell out of here, dude. But it comes with like a CD and a figurine and all that stuff. So that's how they're justifying the price. Otherwise, uh, regular edition would be $49. Uh, that doesn't come with all that stuff, I guess. And it's a physical product. Greeting card, maybe? I don't know. Also available as digital. Just $24 for the digital. So this stuff can be a little confusing if you're just breezing through it, like I'm almost doing. But these $99 add-ons are for physical editions that come with extra stuff. The regular editions, like the Switch, is $69. Holy crap, $69? What? what? Just for one game? Okay, man. I guess. Uh, Dreamcast, yes. Custom grade packaging, physical game and jewel case instructions, and a figurine. $97 add-on. Wow. It's coming to the, the Dreamcast six years after Pierce uh, Solar HD. This is the second Dreamcast released by Watermelon. This version of the game is different. In between the 16-bit and the Steam, it boasts some exclusive things that take full advantage of the Dreamcast features, such as VMU and a three-player mode without need for a multi-tap, of course. I mean... Systems four players, right? Please note the game is in 4-3 ratio, just like the 16-bit edition. Is it like the graphics upped any? I, I don't know. Uh, what else? Mini Paprium. <laughs> Paprium side quest game for the Game Gear. That could be, I mean, okay, 
there it's like a whole new game like it's like a little a, a side game a side quest game that's actually kind of cool i mean that's neat 94 four dollar add-on scroll down for sample sound okay all right well whatever man so they they got a lot of they got a lot of interesting things going on here game gear version Unique take on the outstanding 16-bit release. Listen to it. You can listen to this. I'm not going to play any of their music. Don't want to get them claiming me for saying anything negative here uh, type of thing. Vinyl. Vinyls are big. What else do they got? A compendium? A physical game guide? $69? What else are they selling here? Holy crap. What is this? Original print signed and numbered limited to 16. What? What? Oh, my God. To, this add-on is your ticket to navigate Paprium in style. This is crazy, dude. There's so many things here. It's a little bit different than normal. Scroll down. Watermelon makes profit. PayPal. Like, they're just, they're on it about that PayPal ripping them off, man. Wow. So, stretch goals. Stretch goals out the ass. They have, like, a Brazilian version for the Genesis and all sorts of stuff, man. Wow. Okay, what else do they talk about here? Oh, wait, are they doing the Genesis one? $169 add-on. What? People people haven't even gotten theirs yet. Japan, USA, or European version. This is this is a lot of craziness, man. Stay tuned. They got audio samples. They got Pierre Solar. You can add that on. 129 bucks. <laughs> like, oh my God. These guys think very highly of themselves. I mean, and that's fine. I mean, sure, I guess, but... Crap, Pierre Solar Strategy Guide. Uh, why should we trust you? We will deliver. <laughs> I, I can only laugh, like, seeing all the people complain, man. There's people who have their faith in them, I guess. But, wow, we trust Kickstarter. will pay us at the end. So it is no concern to have regarding the delivery. They're staying on that. Like, hey, we didn't get paid the last time, but Kickstarter will pay us. So we'll deliver. Don't trip, homie. Depend on how successful the campaign is, we may be able to ship physical copies well ahead of digital games. We'll let you know. Why wouldn't, like, the digital would be first. Like, I mean, maybe you're saying, like, the same time or around the same time type of thing. Uh, like we did with our PR Solar campaign, when a stretch goal cannot be delivered, we offer a full refund. That That's good. I mean, hold them to it, I guess. Why do we need your help? The Kickstarter campaign is not only about funding uh, the next-gen version. It's to victorize against scum. Remember the motto, rule be rolled or die. Watermelon never dies and won't submit. If you played the game, you can promote and let more people know it's awesome. I mean, I've heard people say it's pretty cool. Uh, what else? Why? Who are the people? Fonzie, the lead programmer. That's the guy that uh, people are constantly like wondering what the hell is going on out there. But there, there you go, man. There you go. <laughs> a lot of craziness going on. They got a lot of uh, reviews and whatnot listed. Uh, what else do they have? Uh risks where's the risks listed the the challenge of bringing a new game is mostly paperwork to make it right some extra time and care we trust our customers to understand some extra delay may be worth the late for physical copies manufacturing new products is always a big challenge because we're taking or talking about extremely limited manufacturing runs we're also notorious for delays but we're also notorious for delivering at least they're honest about the delay part delivering though i mean there's still people waiting have to wait and see so, okay, let's get back to the campaign. Look at the actual thing. So $1, you get the add-on page. There's been a thousand, a lot of people, a lot of people have done the add-ons. $24 just for the uh, digital release of the game, PlayStation or Steam, or that's it. Digital game plus physical add-ons. So you do that if you want to do add-ons. Uh, the the Paprium Megapope edition. Get your own edition. That one with the 88 copies. That was like $8,888, two backers. Uh, oh, okay, they have 16 of them. 16 available, 14 are left. Wow, all gone is the uh, Paprium Arcade. That was just one, one available. That was it. Somebody grabbed it, dude. Delivery, December of 2022. That's how everything's listed there. They've put in a long time for people to wait for this thing. Hopefully they can deliver, get this thing out there more to the masses, people who want to play this on current generation hardware. I think the Game Gear one looks kind of neat. I'd be interested in that, but I'm not going to back this. I will buy the game if it becomes available on the eShop or whatever, or physical editions outside of Kickstarter. I'm always very wary because I've been ripped off in the past or have had years long, like years long, many years 
of waiting for a product or a project, uh, even once I'm still currently like waiting on, it's been some years. So, you know, way past the, the, the promised delivery type of thing. So be very wary, do with your money as you will. I'll buy it when it comes out and I don't have to take any risks other than if I just don't like the game in the end. That's a risk I'm willing to take, but not giving money and not knowing, not knowing is just something I'm wary of. So let me know what you guys think down below. Really do appreciate every single one of you guys. And with that said, I will catch you on the next one. Bye.